Good evening. Welcome to .programming.blogspot.com. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to check uh, data existency or you can say match with the data or you can say record is available in the database or not, whether is available or not. So I have a table admin login that is admin logins but by using overriding model builder class model builder dot entity admin login dot to table admin login convert the name that is already shown in previous video tutorial okay we have a context method that is passed from db initial in the db initializer class that is static in the data uh, folder for uh, the default one value so in the admin login table we have one entry that is tarun and tarun in the username and the password fields so check it in the database table by using server explorer in app settings we have a connection string the database is online voting ok so in the server explorer expand the node of the online voting connection string and show table data The one entry is available in the um, two fields username and the password is that is Tarun and Tarun. Okay. Now today's topic is check the data existency in the table. So we have a method in voting home controller that is default index method and add a view for the reference create admin login is the model class and data context is voting context ok so create a view yeah by change the name of the submit button from create to save or you can say check ok in http post method I want to check the existence of the record so in it here string username and the password by using html tag helper that is asp4 that is the default id of the label or default id of the text box string username comma string password that is asp4 bo uh, of the both uh, text boxes ok when we click on the save button the value of the both text boxes pass to the controller pass to the controller so uh, but first to initialize the context private voting context db and in the constructor initialize with the some value or you can say memory voting context is dc and db initialize with the dc so this is here now variable type item db dot admin logins dot where with the lambda expression link query with the lambda expression as oops 
lambda expression is this s dot username dot equals match with the local parameter that is username and logical and oops s dot password dot equals is the password dot first or default okay now if item is not equals to null then return to the other page and other page is what and other page is not found so return not found so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial if the value is matched then item having some contents and return to the not found so thank you again for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to asp.net code okay and i will uh, i promise you i will provide you better video tutorial which is related to asp.net core so please subscribe my channel and share this video if you like it thank you thank you very much yeah yeah not found thank you